the basis of the dorsiflexion eversion test is um, that it tensions the flexor retinaculum on the side of the foot. It also draws the tibial ner nerve distally, and as well, it draws the tendons of the uh, flexor hallucis um, longus and flexor digitorum longus. So as we do that, we tauten the connective tissue here, but we actually start to pull the muscle bellies, particularly the muscle belly of flexor hallucis longus, uh, into the tunnel, which takes up more space, and then works to compress the tibial nerve there. If the person has any um, irritation, then the tensioning of the retinaculum, the drawing and filling up the space of the tunnel with the um, flexor hallucis longus, and just the tensioning of the nerve uh, is enough to create uh, irritation. By doing a, it's basically the Phelan's test of the foot. Um, so you dorsiflex the toes and you use those to drive eversion of the ankle and dorsiflexion. And you sustain this um, for at least 10, 20, 30 seconds. If there is nerve compression um, going on here, then the test can be irritating um, in that region, as well as create tingling and numbness in the sole of the foot. While you're doing uh, the dorsiflexion and eversion test, the um, tibial nerve is more vulnerable to irritation, so it's going to speak more loudly when you do a tapping or a tenel sign on it. Can you tell me, Trip, when I'm on the right? Money there? About there. Great. So you can ask your client for feedback and they'll give you um, some feedback. And then when you strum uh, sideways, <laughs> then you'll provoke the nerve nicely. It travels in an arc underneath the muscle and then splits into the two um, plantar nerves at that point.